If you feeling like a pimp And here we are live. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Sanchez, Josh Pallet at the Too Much Concert Studio. With the new studio setup. How does it look? Uh, how you how you liking it? We're bringing it back. Yeah. We're bringing it back. Kevin and I were sitting across from each other for too long. <laughs> for a few months now. A few months? Yeah. yeah. I, since we were we onto that setup and I, I we didn't like looking at each other anymore. No. Nah. I'd rather stare at myself, <laughs> staring in the camera. See at the camera. See, I, I, like I feel like I should take it away because then you guys are just going. No, 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 um, guys. What, what, a, what a, what an amazing day to be alive. What, an, what a great day. It's the Mac Almanac, your favorite weekly episodes of how to ma- navigate the world. I mean, listen, is it going to be called the Mac Almanac? For very long. I don't know. We're we're in uh we're in a dispute right now. We're in dispute. Yeah. The the boys, the the boys are trying to uh rekindle an old name from an old podcast of ours. Yeah. And one of our ex podcast mates is driving a hard bargain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And listen, we've had other podcast mates before, and uh, they gave us a hard time, and they're not. Alive anymore. They're not with <laughs> us. They, you know, they you fell know? down in the shower. All who hit their heads have fallen. Hit their, hit their head. head. So, you know, I think this is going to be settled pretty quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We just got to get his blood alcohol level to a certain extent. Just oh, like yeah. The last guy. Yeah. So no one even questions it. Well, to get, to get <laughs> him to that blood alcohol level, it's like half a half, half a beer. Half, <laughs> half a beer. Beer and a half. Guys, guys, this is the Mac Almanac. It's the for Mac now. Almanac for now, and we have what a wonderful guest. We have a wonderful guest here. He's a returning guest. We listen. We you know we we had this guy on our show. We wanted to you know try to help his career out a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we're like, dude, you're I've, not gonna be anything. I heard he without us. <laughs> we're doing you a favor. <laughs> but a great guy, so very well deserved it. And I've heard since. You've now blown up in Indo- Indonesia <laughs> since being on the Mac Almanac. That's, that's, how, we, that's how we understand it. <laughs> you are now one of the... I like uh, well, the first two comments, and uh, Bo- he goes, hey, keep Ponji around for your career. <laughs> first of all, we get a lot of wonderful, beautiful comments from yeah, the do. people of Indonesia, and we love you guys, but we definitely get a lot of comments <laughs> like, better bring Panji back. <laughs> <laughs> Those numbers are starting to slip. Hey, <laughs> it's like when you you date a beautiful girl and you break up with her, and your mom tells you to go back out with her. Oh, uh, that's a good analogy, right you know? there, yo. I w- do you think you were ever the guy that was told by someone's mom that you've dated? Hey, you should probably go back to Josh. Never, never. Um, no, no, no. That's not true. Of course. Uh, Call her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I know of at least three women that if I call out the blue right now, live on the podcast, and say, I think it's time for us to give it another shot, they'd be like, where should I meet you? Pussy, you won't. Of course I won't. <laughs> I forgot, oh, you're There's a reason someone. I'm no longer with those women. Man. I forgot. Also, you're dating someone. Hey, uh, I sound a little off on my thing. I don't know if it's off to you. You may need to. You're sitting on where the headphone plugs in, so you might just need to jostle the point. Okay, jostle it. Give jostle it, nice, it. Give it a nice jostle, and mate. I like, I like some fucking jostle. All right, can we? Let's introduce. Have we not introduced? I don't, did we even say it? Did we didn't even say it? it's goddamn? I'm thing. still waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and look how respectful he is. <laughs> yeah, that's his Muslim upbringing. He's a, <laughs> his ha- You know what I said to him before the show? He goes, "I'm like, are you Muslim?" And he goes, "Yeah." I'm like, "100 <laughs> percent." What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Introduce our guest, buddy. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, the number one, the number one comic to ever grace the stages. Please give a warm welcome for Panji. Let's go, Panji. How do I pronounce your last name? Because all I ever call you is Panji. Yeah, it's it's a bit mouthful. It's Pragi Pragi Waxono. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, yeah. Pragi Waxono. Pragi Waxono. Pragi Waxono. Exactly. Pragi Waxono. But yeah. that sounds Spanish to me. Oh, maybe. That's why yeah, I can say that's it. Why, that's why yeah, I can yeah, say yeah, it yeah. And it actually is Panji. No, if it was Spanish, it'd be Papi 
Orang Zono. <laughs> oh, we call him. No, that's pa- that's Papi Prasono, yo. That's it. That's his new nickname, yo. Hey, yo, you heard it here on the on the Mac first. He's no longer Panji, whatever that was before. He is who he is today, Papi Prasono. <laughs> Let's go. That's official. Kevin's a Dominican hey, knight. Yeah, I'm a Dominican. Yo, bro, <laughs> you keep it. Yo, bro, I am a Dominican knight. I guess, we, I guess we could come up with a couple of other names, Kevin. Yeah, I guess we could. And that's the funniest thing ever, Dominican Night. Dominican Night. Yo, I like that. Do you you get podcast, knighted? Dominican Night. Do you Kevin get knighted Sanchez. with a machete? <laughs> <laughs> Indonesian, the Indonesian comics, we like to play a game we call Two Funny Words. So you make a joke just using two words that when you mash it together, it sounds funny. Okay. Like Dominican night. It's funny, mm, right? That's funny. Yeah. Or like sometimes we could do it with three, like low and gigolo. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And that's also, yeah. <laughs> sometimes we use it, uh, we use two words. Sometimes we use three words. If we want to be, you know, uh, a little bit harder, we use two words funny. We were going to call, you know, our old podcast. I don't know if you don't know anything about us, but our old podcast was called Low End Gigolos. Yeah, but you told me this. Right? Yeah, I heard I heard it the first time. I, th- I thought it was funny. It was, it, oh, yes, that's right. I, and right away, you laugh. You're like, that is a funny name. And, and everyone I've asked, I say, uh, we're thinking of changing our name to Low End Gigolo. Yeah. Immediately, they go, <laughs> They giggle at they it. They giggle at it. Right, because it's self-deprecating. Yeah. <laughs> we, the, yeah. Th- the conversation Kevin and I had was that we feel like the connotation of the Mac Almanac almost gives a sense of bravado. Yeah. Like we're trying to claim, like, And we're, we're bravado Max. guys. So we, it doesn't. Yeah, but, but a real bravado dude doesn't. Doesn't need to. Doesn't show bravado yeah, like yeah. that. But I also, I also feel like filth kind of like directly conflicts with what a Mac is anyway. Because like a Mac has this perception of like you don't fall in love with right. a bitch. You're like, you know, you're Mac yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, pimping. Right. And so it's like, it doesn't exactly fit. It, it doesn't exactly fit to those standards of what a Mac is. Yeah. But we, we don't follow rules. Yeah. <laughs> you think we follow rules? Crazy Kevin's at it again, gentlemen. <laughs> All I want to do is, I can't believe I have a job, fellas. <laughs> Nobody can. Be- no one can. <laughs> and they're fighting for me at every step of the. I mean, this is, this company is trying to help me out so fucking much, right? It, it's like it's like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's like a Make a Wish Foundation job. <laughs> you know the Make a Wish Foundation. I do is? know. You yeah. know what it is. I yeah. think. I think, I think they think you're dying. Here's the, thing. I think that, <laughs> here's the beautiful. Here's the beautiful thing about sharing your social media, is they probably seen the clip of me talking about how I'm an abortion survivor. That's true. I um I was put up for adoption, That's and true. and that and that they wrapped my uh, aborted sister, my twin sister. In a in a newspaper yeah. and gave it to me and a fruit stand for, yeah. for, for my birthday for his birthday, and then so that's why they let you have that job. I think yeah. they're like I don't even know what you do. <laughs> he nobody knows. <laughs> he doesn't even know what he does. He's like Chandler from Friends. Nobody knows what <laughs> he does. Can I say what what's going on? That they're who they're trying to no I can't do that. No, it's on. really funny. Man. It's it's so funny. It's but really. Funny. It's one of those things that we got to talk about when it really doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because it matters right now. Oh um, man, Ponji, we're so happy to have you yeah, on, bro. Happy to be back, Thank man. You, bro. We're Thank happy you. that you're here. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Since doing our show and uh, we're doing your, po- I think that was a podcast. Or was yeah, that like it a, was a YouTube video. A YouTube, yeah, it was video. A YouTube episode. Yeah. So, did you get anything where it was like two? Th- oh, here's a couple of questions. Uh, did you? First of all, it seems like we have a overwhelming um, positive vibe. Towards mm-hmm. the Indonesian people, yeah, right, yeah. I told I told Josh that to a lot of Indonesian, they know you guys more than they know Seinfeld, <laughs> which is kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Is it fucked up that hack? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what true, is with Indonesia? <laughs> What's going on in Indonesia? That they is, don't even know who I am. It's just the worst Seinfeld impression <laughs> right there. Never claimed to be a good impressionist. <laughs> Just, yeah, a, but, yeah. just a funny guy. But they don't know guy. who he is there, so yeah, they, that might be is. perfect. That is a perfect question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, Indonesians, go check out Seinfeld and come back to me. And be yeah, like, Kevin man. was dead on. Spot on. <laughs> uh, you know what Seinfeld wishes he could do? <laughs> 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 Make homeless killer jokes. You know yeah. what I mean? All day long, <laughs> every day. Um, so now, I'm more interested, and all comics are just more interested in just the negative feedback. Like, because I couldn't read everything. Just mm-hmm. tell him, just tell him, Kevin. What's up? Kevin wants to hear all the great stuff they had to say about us. 
I mean the bad stuff too. <laughs> and the bad stuff. Yeah, but most mostly, I mean, um, okay, it's, it, this is the funniest. I think this is the funniest thing. Yeah. Um, so there's a nickname for. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a little shit. bit fucked up, but there's a nickname for for podcasts that are that are haven't blown up yet. You oh, know, shit. that are still that still. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's called. I don't know what the word is, what is in it? English. But it's a word people use to describe small business. <laughs> <laughs> small businesses is the word. In Indonesia is called UMK, uh, UMKM podcast. Like small business podcast. Like a mom and pop podcast. No. Yeah. First of all, every podcast is a mom and pop yeah. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what? You guys are right. You guys are not that far off. We're a mom and pop that's shop why, out here. What, it, what is made it? Yeah. <laughs> that's why we need to enlist your help. Yeah. You help us grow. You yes. write us. You write us what we should be doing. Yes, I, we want to talk about your. We want to uh, listen. Write us about your relationships. Yeah. Write us about some shit that you. Oh, got, that would be cool. Yeah, like write us about some shit you got going on in your life that we're not qualified to answer, but we're definitely gonna. Answer. We'll give you our answer. We'll give you. Uh, these are. This is uh, not considered advice, but uh, I don't even know. No, it would be cool. I don't though. even know. It would be cool though. Would, yeah. Indonesia really like two type of contents: relationships and horrors. Ooh, that is the wow. biggest. Tell me your biggest. Is ghost. there a difference? <laughs> 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 every podcast, every radio station, every TV station has two because, those two type of contents. Because in a world where there's constant war, yeah, we got to just think what our penises and vaginas. That's it. That's the right. only way we're gonna get through this. Yeah. Right? Just just go back to your primal senses. Prime yes, go back to that. Be a caveman. Yeah. Just eat, poop. There's only one pulse that counts. And mate. That's down there. That's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so <If> I <laughs> I just don't, I'm so retarded. Do you, oh, want, do you want to talk about it? I don't. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me know to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 uh, I, uh, conv- I uh, got a list of links that I oh, think I that we need to address. I think we need to address them. Um, Kevin, uh, last episode. Last episode? Well, last episode with Panji. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You uh, you kept making reference to a uh, a serial killer. You mean a hero? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm some say serial it's killer. Still funny. I some really say <laughs> hero. <laughs> some say a guy trying to stabilize an economy. I really hope that whoever the, whoever the Batman New York needs. Yeah, whoever that is was not listening to I that love, episode. By the way, I just found out that the new Batman. Yeah. Uh, you watched it? I watched the new Batman, and I didn't know this, yeah. but it was influenced by that guy in Miami. <laughs> was he? Because he used to walk around and kill homeless people and go, I am vengeance. <laughs> 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 That's what I heard. Well, I am vengeance made it to New York City. Can you uh, pull that up? What? Yes. My hero was here. He didn't hit me up. <laughs> oh, please tell me there's a cop. Sleep, out, sleep outside tonight. Uh, they've, there's been five uh, homeless people shot in oh, New York wow. City. And the, this is just recently? This is the last couple Mayor of days. Mayor urge homeless to get off. Str- yeah. well, that's a stupid Yo, way to go look about at this. things. So he just walks up to the guy. Lo- dresses do, like do, Kevin, do, actually. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at that. Yeah. So he goes back. Walks like a Batman, too. Yo, yeah. What is this guy wrapped in? He's like in a sleeping bag. Yo, this is messed up. Are they, are, are they gonna Are they going to show this? No, they're going to cut it off, I'm sure. But he... he he sees if the guy's alive. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Buddy. You alive? Buddy. Wake up. Oh, I got to shoot you. Wake him up first and then kill him? Yeah, you know. Oh, man. Wake up. Wake I up. Have vengeance. <laughs> yeah. I was just to go. Come on. I need to shoot you. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, they're showing it. Oh, he shot him? Yep. I don't know why I expected to see blood just. What's that blue thing on Hopefully, his head? Hopefully, you know, in, in God and his mercy, the guy was, uh, you know, completely knocked out and he just died there. He yeah. Suffered. I thought he was trying to put the homeless person out of his misery, like doing a good thing. But when he <laughs> tried to <laughs> wake him up. Check. <laughs> when he tried to wake him up. Yo, well, I want to kill you. Wake up. There's like a, there was a, a Black Mirror episode. You ever watch Black Mirror? I do, I do. It's too, I'm, it's, it's too really crazy. dark. It's too That's much. crazy. But the, the darkest one they had, they, they had this, uh, there was a, a medical doctor 
who they had a they put an implant on him so mm-hmm. where he could feel everything that the patient goes through. You ever seen that, Kev? No. So they put an implant on the patient and the, and the doctor has one implanted into his own brain. Mm-hmm. And every time a medical patient comes in, he's like, he can feel what they're feeling. And he's like, oh, he's like, the guy's having a heart attack, you know? So like they, they know, like, fix this, you know? But it ends up being uh, a patient comes in and it's an old lady and he's trying to like see what's wrong with her and keep her alive. And she flatlines and dies on the table from having a massive heart attack. And, and he's connected to her cerebrally the entire time. And after it, he, he gets this lust because it was the biggest thrill of his life. Like experiencing oh, death. To him is the biggest thrill in life. So in the thing, he goes around looking for homeless people towards the end to kill them and give them these gruesome deaths. Oh, that's crazy. So Whoa. maybe this guy just got his implant. Or <laughs> so the sequel to that episode. Shout out, shout Elon out, Musk. Shout out, Bill <laughs> and Melinda Gates. <laughs> <laughs> it's Elon Musk who's doing that actually. He's already got the patents to do the brain. Oh, does he? Yeah. But I, oh, for, really? Uh, I you don't hate, know about I, that? I, I don't know. I, I oh, trust yeah. Elon for some it's reason. It's called uh, Neural Net, I think. They're, they, they're, they have the patents, and they've already started experimenting with it. They have a- You know that one episode, uh, what's that series that we're talking about? The Black, Black Mirror, Mirror one where, they, where uh, the robot dog- Oh my, that man. is the scariest shit. And, and, and the actual robot is actually around now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. There's, I, a, there's several in Singapore. It's yeah. crazy. Boston Dynamics, uh, the, uh, the NYPD has them. They oh, use, they, 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 you, don't, you just see the robotic dog going into the hood looking for fucking bad Ooh. guys? That's crazy. What? That is crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's hey, like, it's I mean, scary, but that dog man. was fucking uh, scary. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> it's look- <laughs> hey, guys, it's looking like it's time. Yeah. You got the signal. This is me giving you the signal, people from the hood. It's a rap. <laughs> it's a rap. It's done. Honestly, that's crazy, bro. I, I, they put it in the hood for real? Yeah, they have the NYPD. It's has actually it a now. security robot. Yeah. yeah. It the belongs pop, to the police. What's wild is just like, I mean, the devil you know, the devil you don't, right? Right. Because, like, defund the police. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll defend. Humans, yeah, we'll put Being robots. We're gonna put robots in your communities. That's that's definitely happening within thirty oh years. We're gonna thirty have years. It's gonna happen in ten if they already have it. Well, if if thermonuclear war breaks out and there's just not enough people to police can, people, it'll be all robots. We'll just have nothing but robots. Can we go back to the article uh, and read a little bit? <laughs> I want to see what the mayor said because he said something ridiculous already. Yeah, the, the mayor said he told homeless people to not be homeless tonight. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Figure this out. He said you got six hours before it's dark but out. You guys, they have shelters, right? That yes. they can go to. Not right? enough. I watched this in The Pursuit not, of Happiness. Not enough. Not enough. But here's the thing: in those shelters, though, you have to like be there at a it's certain a curfew. time. You have to be. Curfew. Yeah, you can't. You're come You're basically in after a incentivized time. to just be homeless. Yeah, because like you're not allowed to have a job then. Exactly. A lot of people can't make mm. it. You know, to, you know, a lot of people work, you know, Police all hours. Police are hunted for a suspected serial shooter who has opened fire on two homeless people. It just it takes two to be a serial or something. <laughs> Killing one of them, sources <laughs> said. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's disappointed in the numbers. I know, there's at least six No, Ke- Kevin questions just the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Homelessness <laughs> turning into homicide. We need to find a person and we need a new, uh, we need New Yorkers. I mean, how, you, how are we supposed to help you? This guy was like in a mask. This dude. No, there's a picture of black. him. Is there? Yeah. The victim woke up screaming. What are you doing? Why would you wake up screaming that? I- I'm shooting you, sir. <laughs> I'm shooting. The you. victim was expected to survive. Oh man, his injuries. If so- this happens like right in front of my eyes, I think I'm going to run. Of course. Away. Yeah. Don't be a hero. You're not going to yeah. fight the guy, Panji. <laughs> why would you? <laughs> but you know how uh, the mayor fight- said, New Yorkers. Why would you, New Yorkers Panji? Why would you fight a vigilante? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. Honestly, Pansy's listen. I want to. I want to put this out. <laughs> it's one thousand percent fucked up what this guy's doing. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, thank I don't, you. I don't necessarily agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't agree with this. Kevin doesn't think he deserves it. Um, listen, if you're brave in the cold, I understand killing in Miami for that property. Right, value to go up. <laughs> <laughs> but winter, winter in the, in the New so, York, you know. So like, I'm kidding. Serial I'm kidding. killing in Palm Beach is okay. 
Serial killing. Palm and Beach. And Brighton what's that, Beach What's that wrong. place that all the, um, what's that island all the Wall Street guys go to? The island? Yeah, that island they go to to, to vacate. The one you went to. I don't want to say. Oh, uh, St. Martin? St. Martin. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> but I think that I think it, the, it should go the other way around. It should be a native killing the Wall Street guys. That'd be a cool movie. <laughs> <laughs> movie. Movie. Yeah. Well, in a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Based off real events. <laughs> oh, shit. Kevin's planning his trip back to Dominican Republic as we speak. <sighs> I want to go. I haven't, I've never been. To the Dominican Republic? I've never been to the Dominican oh, Republic. Man, it's the best. By the time you get there, you'll be knighthood. I'd I be, oh, I'm going to be knighthood. Dominican knight. I'm, I'm going to be, yeah. Dominican knight. Dude. Uh, yo, somebody be going to call it. That's got to be a bike Jewish again. knight is also hilarious. The Jewish, Jewish knight? knight? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that hilarious, Pedro? <laughs> what, we can't be knights? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, so... I want to go to Pete. Uh, we have this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, so shout out. You know, listen. We love Pete Davidson on this on this show. We we fuck with him. We just think he's good for the culture. Mm-hmm. Nah, uh, that text was cold blooded. I'm team. But that shit. Easy, bro. That shit. Oh, the text. Was, the text where, he sent to Kanye. Where are you, bro? This is uh, yeah. I'm with. This I'm in bed Pete. with your wife, bro. Nah, yo. That's crazy. That one is crazy, bro. But the way Kanye responded to that though, he the, you read it. I don't the, remember. The response. The response was like, uh I'm happy that you're in j- out of just, rehab. Yeah, just straight after yeah. he text, I'm with your wife. Right, he didn't get like yeah. crazy heated. Yeah, I mean, I guarantee, I know for a fact that there are several thousand men who have been murdered over words like that. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, maybe maybe million, right? Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. way more than a thousand. Yeah, yeah. millions, probably. M- probably millions, yeah. probably millions. Yeah. Matter of fact, one hundred percent million. Honestly, he's gonna kill. P- he's gonna kill Pete Davidson. He, he, well, Dio Hughley. Actually, can we find that as well? I'm so sorry, we didn't give you a link for this. But Dio Hughley also kind of responded to this as well. What did he what say? He said something about like it's amazing to me that Kanye got all these hitters to get uh to get me, but like don't have it. I don't know. So we gotta look it up. I don't want to. Uh, so he was on quote. Kanye's side. He was against Kanye. Oh, he was against and, Kanye. Cat yeah. Davidson. Huh? Who, who said this? DL Hewley. DL Hewley. Uh, he said, "You can tell when some when people surround themselves with real ones. Real ones in your corner would never allow you to threaten a man or his family, especially in a public forum. Mental health is no joke. Mm. Neither is the safety of a man's home and family." Mm. Hashtag DL. Hashtag King shit. Yeah, I don't even know. That was what Pete was trying to say to Kanye, right? Like he should stop doing all those. I know? don't know. What, honestly, he's the truth. No, he he was. I read him. He was ma- he was being very rational, but that thing was. You can't do shit like oh, that. Oh, he he also said, mm, ain't it weird that hashtag Kanye supposedly has all these goons who will kill for him, but no, uh, but not one of them will get his prescriptions filled, he wrote. <laughs> Here's a thought. While you're on your way to kill me in Calabasas, how about somebody drop by CVS and pick you up a Xanax, LOL. Ain't no way in hell I'd ever be scared of a dude who wears hashtag I know what you did last summer boots. <laughs> what are, I know what you did last summer? Bro. I don't even know. Bro. I don't know what that sometimes, one's supposed to mean. Sometimes, like when I hear old comedians try to roast, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Sorry, <All right>, but <laughs> he, he had a lot of steam, buddy. Just walk away." Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like his point was good enough. Like, there was one of those times. Listen, that text of "I'm in bed with your wife." That shit was cold blooded. That, that that's crazy. That shit hurt my feelings. That's fighting. That's fighting words. So. I was like, "Yo, that's, Yo, that's like if because uh, we've shared the stuff." What. You and your ex on this pile is open to talk about. But we want to talk about the, about the pool boy. The one pool boy. Ah, uh, I mean, come on, man. That's, that's like if he texts nah, you. Nah, don't that. do that, bro. I'm I, I'm on civil <laughs> oh, <you're> on civil, <laughs> civil standings okay, for okay, now, okay. bro. But like, like, yo, bro, I don't know what I would do. But one of my biggest fears was like, especially when I was younger, was like a girl. no. You know what we could talk? You know what we could talk about? Nah. You know what she did to me? She she called me on my son's. Fourth birthday, you buddy, 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 buddy. You on good standings right now? Let's not. Let's really? Not, let's I... not do it. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's oh, you about to talk about your ex? Yeah. 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 If, if you're on that good of a standing, like... I was waiting for you to describe Kanye's situation verbatim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then the dude sends me a picture. <laughs> nah, man. I got accused of it by my ex. She she thought I threatened the guy. Uh. She thought she she was she was after we had split up already. We mm. were already apart for like a year or something. Mm. I get a call. I'm gonna. Kevin's it. uncomfortable. <laughs> no, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not uncomfortable. Though. 
You know what? You're right, man. This one will actually be seen by thousands of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, yeah, long, but, but long story short, everything's okay now. Yeah. yeah. But you've seen the? Have you seen the uh, Kanye West documentary? The, I have the genius. It's fire. I haven't. It's, I heard it's so really good. good. Yeah, it's it, it kind of helps g- give give us a little pr- different perspective on the Kanye Pete Davidson situation. You know, this is how big Kanye has gotten. Is that I already have the perspective of him. I already mm. basically seen this documentary way before it came out. Mm. I've seen it in just like being a fan of him for all this for all these years. Right. I knew I've seen all those clips. I've seen all like uh, his you know like I didn't see that part of him rapping in front of a a, a oh, yeah, record the, label uh, yeah. fucking person. But a I've seen jam. most of that shit, mm. and that's how big Kanye is at this point. Is that he needed to put out a doc to explain his insanity to his casual fans. Yeah. You know? People who knew him understood him already. Yeah, this mm. is this is. I mean, this is the cost of being a billionaire in hip hop. Because mm. y'all was like, how many how many of these other motherfuckers got this got these problems? When it comes down to it, the value though of his music is much more than Pete Davidson's comedy. Yeah. Uh, in a fact, trillion in percent fact, more. I, I would I would beg to claim the majority of <laughs> of comedians' comedy. Falls very far from what someone gets from somebody's music catalog. Of course, because yeah, yeah, a yeah. joke you could. That's why uh, comedy's having such a big problem with doing streams. Right. Because you don't want to necessarily. Most people don't necessarily want to hear a joke more than once. Right. Right. I could listen to a Kanye song a thousand for, times. A, a, a thousand times and like oh, this guy. Yeah, I was true. just listening to Through the Wire. I'm like, how could you? How could I ever hate this guy? We got to start singing our jokes. <laughs> that's, that's the well, evolution. Why do you think Bo Burnham? Oh yeah, does what he does. Like not, that's not why he does what he does, but that's why his shit is so effective. It's because like and, and sells out, and then con- people constantly listen to that fucking album. It's because it's musical. Oh yeah, there's not a lot of comedians that are also slash musical like yeah. like Jamie Jamie Fox. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Jamie Fox you, is a good fuck you. That shit was Marvin Gaye. A little Vandross, a little Anita, we'll surely get this party all fried. Right. It's gonna beat, it's gonna beat, it's gonna beat. Be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever smash to that? I couldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. smash to it. I got a, my, I got a, my dick went down. <laughs> Why? Because you hear Jamie Foxx, it makes you cry. Oh, you heard laughing. Twister so fast, yeah, too it was fast. Too, it, it's, uh, and then I'm not really pumping it too much. <laughs> yeah, something that always, I mean, since I was a kid, I was like, wow. He wants somebody to look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I just kept thinking. I just, what was the line? It reminds me. He goes, uh, "Got a light skinned friend, look like, like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Got, got a dark skinned friend, friend, look like Michael Jackson. Well, no, but that's ready for the world. But no, she but was that's, ready for some action. That's the. F- they're just talking about the, the yeah, skin the complexion. Yeah, yeah. And he's they're t- not saying they look like Michael Jackson. In my saying, head. Like, you think you're picturing, I'm picturing white a light skinned girl Michael Jackson. And, a, and, a, and a dark skinned girl both looking kind of like Michael Jackson? <laughs> and kind of like, I could not wait to fuck this. <laughs> I, well, I heard Michael Jackson was basically a eunuch. And you guys know what a eunuch is? Okay. Hell yeah, dude. 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 You are so wait, wait. Can we, can we uh, this uh, Davidson thing? Is there, do you guys hear of anything that's like, I don't know, like, I, I, I kind of side with Davidson. Still, and I love Kanye. I, I'm with him all the way except for that that picture. You think this wasn't really. funny? Uh, no, no. I think it was. Really People are funny. talking about it. Has he has a new tate, a tattoo? Uh, I think it was Kim on his chest. Really? Yeah, you, you, yeah. You know, for for what he's accusing Kanye of being like over the top, he's kind of being over the top himself. These are very highly emotional people. <laughs> we all are. Yeah. But publicly, like doing like a fucking a war like that. Well, I don't know. With the kids, you can't do that, man. My conspiracy brain starts coming to you know coming forth. I'm like, right. This seems like a ploy, bro. This seems like a little because they come on. Yeah, remember that time where where he had this sort of like a a fight with uh, Fifty Cent because they they released the, their album at the same time. I remember that. I yeah, like, it was man. actually a, it was actually a marketing campaign on, yeah. from the both sides, right? Yeah, it was. It was. They didn't really fucking hate each other. And I don't know, maybe Davidson. And uh, I don't even know why Kim would date Pete Davidson. Yeah, yeah. You know, like. She- well, he's. He, I want to talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talk about somebody. Fuck. Both. So, uh, 
you, you use filters? You use these filters on your phone? No, I don't. No. I mean, to take photos? Is, are they like, no, yeah, like like selfies. selfies. You see nah. these things? Yo, he said, what am I, gay? <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you earlier on in this podcast, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> but, <laughs> you don't know, no, no, let me stop. I was about to go real hard, and then I realized I should have. <laughs> You're really growing up, Kevin. That's good, man. <laughs> the Can you pull this one up, Irresponsible Filters, Irish? What is this? It's about like the uh, people that look way better in f- with filters. So this is. A, I just want you to see like there's women making videos of themselves with these filters. They yeah. look absolutely nothing like the filters that they're using. Oh, I, I think I know this. It makes them look. It makes uh, them look. Uh, uh, the video. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you know what I caught myself saying. You know what I caught myself. Saying? I caught myself saying, uh, "That girl would look good on Instagram." <laughs> I caught myself saying that. Uh, or that girl looks hot on Instagram. The link is either uh, broken or they took it down. Oh. Uh, probably took it down. That uh, ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this but is exposing me the, and it's ruining my business. Right. Can you pull, pull this one up real quick? It's good. basically, just, Instagram filters are basically uh, lazy people's makeup. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yo, can you 311? Let's say you find out a girl or a person is not as hot. In their Instagram, like in real life, as right. they are on Instagram, but they're selling products. Can you be like three one one and be like, "This is a bad business." Let me oh, tell I'll you, hit up the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, hit the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> hi, hi, madam. We're getting reports of you being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hi, ma'am. You're selling at a nine, and you're clearly a five. Dude, you you know what? Can you can they make filters for my body, bro? Because I would love to do some shirtless pictures, bro. But I got these man titties. <laughs> so. I got these uh, over Redenbacher titties. <laughs> I, I, uh, I got the Chef Bar titties. There's, there, there's a popular podcast that I've never heard of before, and they uh, they did a, uh, a release of an episode that said that uh, they are not interested in women with women with money. Mm. Who uh, can is you pull? Flagrant Two or is this uh, uh, the boys? Well, I'm gonna. He's gonna pull up the the New York Post article. So I wanted to see what what our opinion was. Okay, to, I, I, like I mean, this. I already know mine. Oh, these are uh, what is this shit called again? But here's the thing: a lot of this, a lot of the times, hardly, hardly initiated, podcast, uh, hardly initiated. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, three guys we don't care about, but <laughs> most like this podcast. But like, uh, can you can you? Uh, Did it stir up like some sort of con- controver- uh, controversy or something? Yeah, well, there, there's it's be- it, it went viral. What they're saying is that they think that women who are successful and have money are masculine and unattractive. What does that mean? Oh, really? Like they look like men, and that they're not. Oh yeah, but that, that's not true. Though. That is that's ridiculous. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a true thing anymore. Yeah. You know what? As a yeah. low end gigolo, <laughs> <laughs> as a guy that's had a few sugar mamas, <laughs> let me tell you. These bitches is fine, son. It is. Listen, there's nothing wrong with a beautiful, successful woman. I think it's fine. They're, I mean, they're oh, fighting che- their nature, but like, it's yo, fine. Che- che- check out the quote though. I had a woman tell me I got a good job. I make very, very good money, and the only thing I need now is a man. Catching said, and then the guy uh, responded, "But who wants you? Like, who wants you? That that's messed up, man. <laughs> that's just messed I, up. I gotta hear. It. I gotta hear the. I gotta hear the full context. Cause yeah, I, th- that seems like uh, a quote that just pulled up. Now I hear from a lot of young guys that they want a woman who's making this have a who have reached uh, who has reached a certain income threshold. Mm. So income wise, you know, not talking about vision, you know, not talking about just long term things that they want to do, but income wise, their income threshold. I don't care. I'm <laughs> I, I, I don't care. Like, I'm yeah. fighting. I literally do everything in my life so that I don't have to have that as a metric for you. Mm. And there's so much more. That's why I was like, the passion is way more important than the income. Like, I don't care because if you start having my kids and I want you to be at home, that income is gone anyways. Mm. So mm. who cares? Like, I, I want you to do stuff that you enjoy, but, like, I'm not pressing about, like, oh, you need to make 300, 400K a year. The amount of people that can even make that kind of income is so Minuscule. That's what a real. That's the way uh, realism is kicking in at. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Also, like, so these guys are on the too. So yeah, like yeah. most like women date across and up social dominance hierarchies, and men date across and down. I don't so see. I don't you know, see these guys need yeah, three more wives. Options. As women rise up, they have their. <laughs> it's not hard to get four hundred thousand if you a got three of them. <laughs> points negate them. The guys that are in the same space, they don't want that. They don't want it because they're like, oh, you're combative and yes. like you feel like you need to be a boss and all this other stuff and like you telling me what to do. Right, and, and, and I love you. All right, press you know, pause. I think- 
See, I think their problem is the way they're delivering the message, mm. right? What they're basically trying to say is two alphas can't date. Right. Right? That's what they're saying. Two alphas is hard for us to like, cause I'm going to think my shit right and you're going to think your way is right. Mm. It's just what it is, mm. right? It's hard. For, you, it's just not in our nature. It's in no body's nature it is in nothing's nature no but two alphas are together but you what you're saying though is that for a woman to be super successful she has to be an alpha and that's not necessarily true well i think or that she can't have no they can also strip <laughs> well it's like he he's he's basically <laughs> saying like Sorry. uh like okay like you know how sometimes like uh only fans chicks will make this thing where they'll be like like if a guy's shitty they'll be like oh yeah well i still have your money motherfucker kind of thing okay oh. and, and it, like but but like a guy like this, it's like, yeah, but this is frivolous money for me, so like it means nothing. Like that's the thing he's saying. He's like, I'm building mm. a life where like I don't need your money. Like I've got a setup, so it's like yeah. I'm not impressed by like. No, I, f- he's basically saying like how much you make isn't impressive to me. He's right. like, I care more about like how into the relationship you are because like, hey, if, even if you're making 500k a year, he's like that that means fucking nothing to me because I have my own money and I'm I got enough to take care of both of us. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're. Right. I mean, listen, that's one way. I, I don't. You see the problem? Like, I bet how many people you think even heard as much as we heard? Because like, not much. I think probably no, not much. Because no, like when no I'm woman, listening, to, when I'm listening to him, I'm like, this is not terrible. This right. is not the way the headline reads. Like, oh, well, I think I think most are not as terrible yeah. the way it panned out on social media. Right. I just uh, can, we, can we go back to the to the our screens because you, you, you want to see yourself. Duh. <laughs> you think you could just be this gorgeous and I want to look at this? I'm a beautiful man, bro. Yeah. I so, like, Pangey, any new revelations about New York City? Any new? No, actually. Yeah. Mm. It's just now I'm better at jet lagged. I don't, I don't lose sleep as, sleep as much. Oh, that's good. The last time, I was struggling to stay awake during open mics. Wow. But, uh, you, you, know, you know you're staying too long, right? What do you mean? So Saying you, hit, you hit these mics, buddy, and leave. For oh, the yeah. most part, you gotta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but but you know, I'm um I'm still studying. Oh yeah, yeah. wrong wrong people to study. <laughs> That's another thing. There's like three or four people with these mics you might want to look at, and then like there's only so much open micers could teach. Hey, Kevin, yeah. do me a favor and stop telling Panji to stop coming to my mic. <laughs> you fucking jerk off! I, I, I didn't say that at all. I'm Ungrateful saying don't stay. Bastard. For the whole mic, for all twenty five you know, people, you know, that's crazy. But but you know how sometimes also uh, cut your mic shorter. <laughs> Yo, Josh is Josh has the best mic he when does. he's hosting. When that's a good. Uh, oh man, <laughs> the suspense uh, though. <laughs> Kevin does it. One of our buddies, mm. he holds the second half of this mic, and I think he's been hearing <laughs> some. Not so positive feedback, and it's honestly hurting my feelings. Yeah, well, that that's my dude, man. Yeah, he's a, he's such a sweet dude, and he's trying. You know, it's fucking hard out here, bro. Pangy, do you have like? Um, I mean, obviously you're successful, and you're doing this for a while now. Do you have like a lot of like friends who followed you from the beginning, who mm-hmm. maybe weren't the greatest comics, but they're still staying in it? And oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, them? yeah, for sure, for sure. There's a lot of them in Indonesia. Yeah. They're still trying because. Different people have different process. Right. Some can just become funny in like months. Sometimes it some people takes absolutely, years. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah, like uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Oh, I, I never I saw his know. old stuff. But I know in Indonesia, I've I've seen myself firsthand. I know this one person never funny for three straight years, and then suddenly he just found finds A how. Yeah. yeah, and then. Now he has shows. He's doing tours, doing doing merchandise. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's like playing music. Like once you figure it out, mm-hmm. you figure it out. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's not just you know technicality. It's not just you know. Is like there setups and punches. Is there anyone that you know who are like I should just tell him to stop? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, so, sometimes we do that too. I mean, do uh, you lovingly, lovingly? We're really? Just, yeah, we're just uh, you know how it is. Why are you still doing this, man? You're still coming to the mics, and some some still use the same seven five minutes 
jokes they've been doing. Same I'm like, stick. yo, what are you doing? It's not working. Well, right, keep it, writing more. So they're, they're right. doing it for the community. They want to just be some. Some people one, are, are, are for doing the attention. It for that. Yeah. Right. You know, th- these are messed up people doing <laughs> doing mics. You know, <laughs> they're not normal people. The, no. Josh has something here that's hilarious. He goes, it goes never too old to follow your dreams. And right. I feel like it's the perfect segue. Segue. Okay. Because like. Uh, some people come to this uh, to these things. I, I came in late. I came in at twenty six, and I feel that felt late mm. to yeah. do stand up. Like yeah. you were already. I don't want to say what age I was. No, 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 no. You, <laughs> you were already in the arts. Yeah, you know, like you were already right. in. And like, I did improv, improv, and, and stuff and like stuff that. Like that. It's not stand up comedy. <laughs> yeah, but like, oh man, when I the whole time I see people, I wish I started at twenty. Of course, but the. Serial, wow, God has a serial plan. killer stuff, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> serial killer. Oh, wait, the serial killer is 83? Yeah, there's the, you didn't hear about the serial No, I thought the serial killer killed an 83 year old man. No, the serial this killer. Is this the same person? No, this is another, <laughs> this is another serial Yo, killer. This city is crazy. Yes. It, you watch The Batman, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's they designed Gotham City really like yeah, New York. It actually yeah. did do it better. A better, yes, it looks more like New York in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It better has than Gotham Joker. Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. interesting. It looks like so. Serial killer. This was a. This is a 83 year old um, trans following his gender dreams. woman. Whoa. What? Who was actually in a wheelchair when they when this they this is bullshit. When this they can't th- be real. this is 100 percent real. When they <laughs> found him, he had the leg of this 63 uh, year old woman that he killed on his oh, on geez. his lap. This was the body that they found a piece of uh, like a week or two ago out wait, in the street. Wait, they found a human head in his apartment too. Yeah, yeah, yo. Uh, How's this? It, what's his, his motive? Though? Uh, please use the proper pronouns, or you're next. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it a they he? found a human head? It's, it's it's it a he or she? It's a it's they a, or it's, it's, it's a they. It's, it's a trans person, right? It's yes. It's, it's a, a trans person, but I'm trying to find out like what did he trans? What did that person transition to? A monster, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> a maniac. <laughs> well, the thing was, this person killed someone years ago, was released from prison, and then picked up for being too old. Oh no, I don't know. Just they served their time. No, previously, why did he? I think the last. He- Look, here we go. Oh my oh, wow. god! Wow, gorgeous. Shout out TT Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that could be. <laughs> yeah, have you seen that? Yeah, of course. That? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh man. I've spent more than fifty years in state prison on murder and manslaughter convictions. Wait, this motherfucker still alive? They didn't shoot her. No. They took the leg away. Oh though. my god! Wait, that's right here in LES. Yes. No, no, yeah. no, no, I was in Brooklyn. Oh. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. It just looks very similar. Yeah. Um, it's like, this whoa. is the evidence they should show that cops are racist. It's like, how do you not shoot this person? <laughs> well, you don't want to shoot an 83-year-old. Uh, Madam. Wait, wait, she was she was like strolling around in her wheelchair with, with a leg. leg. I'm, yeah. st- I'm sorry, madam. Yes. <laughs> you want to try that again? You <laughs> madam. <laughs> Yo, how does, she, how does she chop? How old was that leg? Was it like a decade old leg? No, they put killed, in the she, she killed this person a few days ago. I think they were. She was How was she it. able to chop up a leg if she's in a wheelchair? And I stuff? think she just uses the wheelchair because she's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> she looks fit. Like she, she yeah, I think fat. she's too tired from cutting the leg <laughs> because it takes a lot of energy it to does, cut a man, leg, man. It wears you out. Yeah. How how far does she? Was she just like rolling through the Brooklyn? You streets? mean they? They caught her. They, 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 they <laughs> were caught. <laughs> no, it's, it's a she. She transitioned to a woman, right? I'm not sure. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. You're, you're, uh, uh, I think all civility goes away. When, yeah, once uh, you're a murder, once matter, you're a, murderous a monster. serial killer. Yeah. yeah. How many people have she killed? Does it say? Just two? Yeah, two is two. I don't, to be a serial I, I thought, killer, apparently. I thought it was just like three or four. Like you have to kill. No, you have to kill multiples. I think like three. Four? Four? Oh. Four. She Ani, four. Ani Ani four. four people. So she killed four people. Whoa. I mean, a head in the freezer. Old school. Norman Bates shit. Yeah. What do you think she was doing with the head? human torso. I I bet you she's a cannibal, too. I bet you they'll find out she's a cannibal. Yeah. Well, from her age, her reference would be, you know. Yeah. Go vegan, everybody, man. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I really, I'm vegan. Do you know that? I didn't. I am. Oh, you are vegan. I'm a vegan, yeah. I mean, because religious, religiously vegan? No, because of animals. Because I love animals, and uh, I stopped eating uh, animals like 
I'm, I'm, mostly I'm a plant-based eater too. Yeah. But but because of health reasons. Well, I do it for that as well. You know, I do it. I feel I feel much better since I stopped eating animals. Yeah, but it's been true. about like seven seven years or so. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, man. Thank you. I forgot why I brought that up. Oh, Such a vegan oh. thing to do. By the way, I'm no, a vegan. because you said no, you like, go vegan. Go vegan. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, I have animal. a I have a uh, theory that I think that if the world went vegan and we stopped eating animals and killing animals for their consumption, that that would slowly eradicate crime and violence and yeah. other Because violence. you choose to kill cucumbers instead. Yeah. <laughs> and broccoli. Right. They have lives too, you know, man? No. <laughs> they don't have central <laughs> nervous systems and they don't scream. Yeah, they don't scream. What's up with the, loneliest epi- the loneliness epidemic in New York City? There, uh, apparently there's a loneliness epidemic. What is that? It's that people are very lonely. Are the they York lonely City. or are they dating too much? That's probably what it is. You know, and they feel alone. <laughs> New York City Health Commission declares loneliness epidemic. Oh, I see where this is headed. Oh, by the way, he just retired. Bye, Shoxy. I see where this is headed. No, no, no. This is a ploy. They want people to go out to businesses and stuff like that. This is bullshit. Yeah, they want people no to go dating. No one's lonely. They want people to go on dates. Oh, now that they opened everything back yeah, up, you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, open up. Everything is safe. COVID's over. COVID's over. World War Three is happening. We want, it. we want you to be at a local restaurant while you watch it on TikTok. <laughs> Why you watch it get bombed? Why you watch uh, Ukrainians get bombed? Yeah, we want you to drink over it. You can now be you right. Can, yeah, now they go have back to the article. What is this bullshit? With COVID nineteen restrictions, it's the that. alone virus. Yeah, it's, it it already opens. <laughs> it opens with. Let me with hold it. on. Let me read this. It says fifty seven percent of rev- residents felt lonely some of the time or often, and sixty seven percent felt socially isolated in the prior four weeks. Yeah, this is a. Uh, that's self isolation. Play yeah, video yeah. games. Me and Kevin definitely. never stopped leaving the house when this thing started. <laughs> it was awesome. The subways were empty. Oh, we got everywhere dude, on time. Every dude. We owned New York City. It was, it was great. It was. Crazy. We had the run of, and it really was apocalyptic because the only people out were crackheads. <laughs> Do you remember Kevin? <laughs> crackheads and meth heads. Yeah, crackheads and meth heads. We went out to Harlem, and I was like, "Yo, Kevin, it's just me, you." And the crackheads on the meth <laughs> <laughs> We were the kings. This was last year? This around was last two year? Year, a year oh, and a half year. ago. Oh, yeah. the, year and a half. Yeah. Peak, peak. Like when they were yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah, leave yeah. your house. We were like, we're leaving the house. Yeah. <laughs> because it was like, wait, why are you telling us not to leave the house, but all the trains are running? Yeah, everything. Was, yeah, you Every, did, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. What, don't uh, take this elevator. It goes downstairs. <laughs> 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 and it was weird. It was like, okay, the people who really didn't want to leave, and we and we were quarantined for two months. Yeah, we quarantined for like well, when everything was closed. But the second they were opening stuff up, they're like, for certain people, I was like, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a certain person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were they were saying that um, the public transportation is running because of the uh, the the health worker. Is that the word? Right. Yeah, yeah. essential workers. Oh, Kevin essential and I, workers. Yeah. Kevin and I are comedians. That is essential. Yeah, was well, essential. Yeah, it is. To uh, mental health. Yeah, yeah to all, exactly. Yeah, to, all yeah. 20, to my mental health. Yeah. My mental health. And, and the safety of the city. And yeah. at the time, the 25 listeners. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 25. Otherwise, you guys would be killing homeless exactly. people. Hey. Yeah. Hey. You need this. Hey. They need you to do this, to keep doing this. They saved themselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Because me and Josh living alone. First of all, we, we watched Fear and Loathing in, in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, okay, this is inspiring. And we did all the drugs. De- can I say that? No. <laughs> hey, can you mark that? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so we were, we were inspired by Fear and Loathing in Las yeah. Vegas. Well, we were degenerates, we're, and the city we was wanted degenerating. To be degenerates, yeah. And we were like, "This is the last time it could be." Yeah, it was apocalyptic. Sorry, what is Fear and Loathing? Um, Me and my Indonesian audience. Fear, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas uh, is a book that was turned into a movie by Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter. Oh, S. it's a movie. Or it's, it's a play. movie. It's a movie. Uh-huh. Um, but it's a. It was based on a book uh-huh. from a, an American writer named Hunt, Hunter Thompson, uh-huh. who was like. Uh, started in like the hippie movement in like uh. the 60s and 70s mm-hmm. it's it's all about like psychedelics and experiences he, he was a writer for Rolling Stone magazine oh okay so the movie takes place wa- at like a uh, off-road uh, bike derby mm-hmm. in like uh, Las Vegas mm-hmm. so he's there with like his law lo- it's just it's very bizarre yeah the mm-hmm. character is like a sports writer but he goes there with his lawyer and then they just do like 
all of the fucking drugs. Oh, yeah. yeah like, wow. uh, and it's based on his real life. Oh, yeah, like, like, like he did coke like all day long yeah. and drank all day. Like he had a crazy fucking schedule. When he died, <laughs> when he died, uh, his last wishes were that they took uh, they took his ashes and they shot it up in a rocket into the <laughs> air and exploded it. And uh, Johnny Depp paid for it. Well, oh, they actually did it? Yeah, yeah. they did it. John, you know Johnny Depp? <laughs> I know, I know. That's crazy. Johnny Depp played him in the movie. Oh. So, and he loved They had a really... The guy was like a, a national like uh, hero to many writers. To many writers mm, and yeah. artists. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Artists Very, like, yeah. He, he, listen, we... Listen, was I doing a lot of psychedelics at the time? Yeah. And what I have been like walking through the streets of New York like, I'm vengeance, and killed a couple of homeless people. <laughs> 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 but it all depends. <laughs> on whether or not I follow rules. And I'm not a rule follower. I hate rules. I only do them so that way, one, I don't get killed or ostracized by a large group of people. So for a long time, <laughs> I will wear a mask on the train. Yeah. Now, I don't. I don't. Uh, even Kev on the train? It, huh? I won't wear a mask on the train. <laughs> not anymore. Mm. Spit in my mouth, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like listen, I'm fucking stranger sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm on this dirt. First of all, I'm on a train touching everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, like forgetting that I'm and touching my face anyway. Are, are, you a, are you like a germaphobe type of guy? No. no I mean, you neither. can't be, motherfucker. We, grew, we didn't grow up rich. I'm, I'm kind of worried, but not no. that kind of, no. you know, not paranoid. Not to yeah. like where you let it impact your daily life. No, no, no. No, when was I, the last, like you have, I haven't washed my hands in weeks. You, when was the last? <laughs> <laughs> I, I generally, I used to be the brand ambassador for a soap company Where in Indonesia. You? And then once yeah. they stopped paying you, you're like, I'm fucking done washing. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> he went to spit shot. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my girlfriend, when I met her, you know, she's uh, she's studying. She's a doctor and she's studying for a medical license. And she mm. was working in a medical office. Mm. And she's like. I don't know if I could be with you. You're too filthy. You touch everything, <laughs> and you're always touching your face. <laughs> this guy's been sick once in five the five yeah. years I've known him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just dude. Like, <sighs> Quite a specimen. Quite a fucking vegan specimen. man. Veganism, vegan, man. And, and and also just like understanding that like George Carlin has the best bit about this. You know, where he's like, "We need germs, man." Yeah, like for sure. Everyone who died of polio, or whatever the fuck that was, when he was young. No, nobody who was swimming in the Hudson died. Of it. <laughs> you know, yeah. No one, not 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 none of us swim in the Hudson. And look what that got us. Yeah, I swam a in the fucking Hudson. plague, a fucking plague. Oh, you fucking shitty people no. telling people how to fucking live for years. How well does that work out? No, it really, it really, <laughs> it, it making us super like a cl too clean of an environment is terrible. It's not. Nah, good lick you, the but... fucking ground you walk on, yeah. you pieces. No, I'm kidding. Listen, if you want to be clean, be clean, bro. Just know that like. Listen, when I get sick, it's not going to affect me as much. But if I'm around you, you might die. <laughs> <laughs> the host isn't going to be able to live in my body. Yeah, Kevin was sick like seven times in the two years he lived with me. That's because I was trying to be too clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a difference between trying to live a healthy life and being too scared of, you know. That's what it all, it's oh, all in your head, man. I'm yeah. Sorry. If you're living in fear, if you're constantly worried, and that's like, that's my... I grew up with a mother who had like hypochondria, you know? Mm -hmm. So like I started to have it somewhat myself and I my friends used to make fun of me when I was a kid. Like you know they they were always like, "Oh, you worried?" you know, and like mm -hmm. pick at me and I started to self-reflect and I made a conscious decision at a certain age. I was like, "I'm not going to fucking walk around my life fearing for my health and fearing for this and that." Yeah, my mom. And then I grew to 400 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom for a long time. Like my mom, I still call my mom and she goes, reminds me about how dangerous it is in the New York City subways. I'm like, bitch, I live here. I know. Yeah. I don't, it's like, they're talking about me, mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why do you think the property value in New York City rising up? <laughs> rising up. It's because I'm around and I'm vengeance. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Kevin. I can't. <laughs> You're such a good boy. <laughs> what were your parents like growing up, Hinge? Um, they were coming from very different backgrounds, very different culturally. Yeah. Um, uh, Indonesia is it's very weird. Imagine the size of the U.S., but it's divided into 17,000 islands. Mm. Each island has different languages, different cultures, different way of marrying, different, you know, different cultures. And so 
my dad and my mom is so different. I don't know why they get married in the first place. So, but um, they married all the the. the you still together? No, uh, they uh, they got divorced when I was in junior high. And, uh, Were you a sad boy about it? Nah, nah no, just, no. Good no. for you. I don't think so. But my sister, she's older than me, and so she understands what's going on. Uh. And my brother, she, uh, he's younger than me. But you know how little kids is more sensitive towards um, situation. Of course. And let's be real. Yeah. You and your sister used to look at your little brother like it's because of you. <laughs> you know that, right? Did they fight a lot? Um, they rarely fight in front of their kids in front of us they really do. but word? sometimes they do yeah sometimes they do you know and we were around who was the most who's uh, was who was the most aggressive one was it? oh my dad dad yeah, yeah okay. definitely hit definitely you my dad nah no nah my Just dad verbal yeah my dad uh my dad is what would he yell at you in uh, indonesian he never if he mentioned so, one our names it's already scary. Mm. Oh, really? Panji. And then That's it's it? It's it's cold. It gets chilled. You get that chill on your yeah, spine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Diaz, Andrea. So he didn't hit you? He never. But uh, the, the thing is, we're all scared of him because, first of all, do you remember Saddam Hussein? He looks like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. He does look like Saddam Hussein. He Pull looks Saddam real quick. <laughs> he he really he looks he like looks a serious like, dude, Saddam. He looks like a police officer. One time he Saddam uh, looks like got a good stopped. time though. What was that? Saddam looks like a good time. You, you don't remember? I, I you don't remember? I, I I we pulled up the video once. You know where they pulled up the video once? Have you, oh. you ever seen the video where Saddam Hussein calls up the entire government when he took power in the Bath Movement? Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there with a cigar like this, and they start calling up people one by one who betrayed him. Oh. And they take him outside. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you showed me this during yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Saddam Hussein. That was man. one of the yes. craziest Cold -blooded. videos I've ever seen. Wow, dude, that was, must have been scary. Anyway, so your pops yeah. was Saddam? Yeah, it looks like Saddam. So, uh, and he also looks like he's from the military. Uh, one time, the police stopped him because uh, I think it was a red light thing. And then uh, my dad rolled down. The window and the cops were like, oh, oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. And then told my dad just to move along. Maybe and he was secret milk. Maybe your dad's a <laughs> Maybe. Indonesian just... James Bond. And, uh, no, well, uh, my dad was actually one out of seven person who brought karate uh, to Indonesia from Japan. Really? Yeah, so he went to school to Tokyo Denki University and um, he studied karate there. And then, uh, this is way back, I think it was in the 60s, late 70s, or in the 70s. And then he came to Indonesia, and then he he and his other friends formed the very first uh, karate institute in Indonesia. The Dominican wow. Knights. <laughs> the Dominican <laughs> Knights. <laughs> did he teach you? Uh, he did. Uh, I I uh, took karate lessons, but only until green belt, which is... Why? Punch Kevin in the face real quick. Uh, <laughs> when you when you when you learn karate to green belts, you know the moves, but you can't fight. That's how it is. That's how it is. So be going like this. Did, did he keep practicing while you guys were growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear him like punching shit? And I stuff? went to uh, I I I went to his class, and then I saw him teach, and then I saw him. You know, there's this tall, younger karate athlete, right? And he, you know how fighters like to do this. Yeah. And my dad was already old at that time. And then he just swiped, swooped his leg. And then he just <laughs> fell on fell, his ass. Yeah. And then he said, don't do that when you're fighting. That's weird. That's oh, what he like said. Oh, like try to like do yeah, that yeah. shit? Don't do that when you're fighting. I like that. You know, when I was a kid, you ever seen The, the Karate Kid? Yeah, I You did. know that movie? Yeah, 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 yeah I love that. So that movie came out when I was a kid and, and I loved it. I was like seven, I think. And uh, I told my mom, I was like, I love it. And she's like, oh, that's good. You love karate? And there was a karate studio in my neighborhood and she mm -hmm. brought me there and she took me downstairs mm -hmm. and there was people like kicking the shit out of each other and I started hysterically crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't want to do karate anymore. Get me the fuck out of here. We're hitting each other. That's interesting. I had a, I, I had a different reaction to that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because me and my brothers, like, first of all, my uncle just came through. He goes, I heard you as a wild kids. And he was like, I bought you guys these boxing gloves. When your mom's out here, Duke it out. That's how, like, right. and, and then we got. But it's into, different when it's your family and your brothers, then, bro. These my, are my brother strangers. got into boys. Uh, when we got into the boys and girls club, boys club. Let's be real. We were <laughs> in the boys club, and uh, there was like a full on ring. Like, uh, they, so somebody donated a bunch of shit for boxing in there, mm -hmm. and my brother got in there. I was like, Yo, I need a 
I need a fucking, I want to rock that kid. Not my brother, but like the other kids. Yeah. Right. And then I quickly found out I didn't know how to punch. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly found out. Like, I, I mean, whoo. So basically me as a kid had better foresight than you. <laughs> no, but then I learned. I learned quickly. I, I learned quickly how to avoid punches and fight back. Right. So it was. A, I think that all types of fighting is completely useless in modern times. We have weapons now. <laughs> yeah, I know you. You tell me this all the time. Yeah. It's no, not the, completely the, the, useless from the from the day the gun has been invented. I don't care how fucking great you can fight. You know that uh, Indiana Jones scene where uh, yes, Indiana Jones yeah, with the uh, sword and yeah, then he yeah, just yeah. shoot the person. Exactly. It's right. hilarious. Wait, we never answered the question. Hmm. I'm sorry. So uh, let's go back a little bit. We got a few minutes left here on the Mac Almanac. If you like this episode so far, please like, subscribe, <laughs> share, do what you do out here. All right. Um, Ponji is not our third mic, but he basically is gonna be, <laughs> and uh, by force of will. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we took his passport. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, please, if you got a story you want to share and get our comments on, Hit share that story. I don't care if it's in broken English. We'll just make up a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found out during your show. That uh, I was like, how do you say God bless you in your language? And they were like, God bless you? <laughs> nah, that guy was an idiot, man. That guy was an idiot? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but what about the rest of those idiots that didn't say, you're wrong, dummy? That, that's how it is. I, 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 they were being I, polite. No, this is how Indonesian are. Um, what, it's hard to do crowd work with Indonesian yeah, people. Yeah. Because if you ask them questions, they stiffen up. They'd be like, they, they, like they don't, they don't yeah. want to answer. Yeah. Generally. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how it is. That's, I got that's real what comfortable happened. though. They would started talking. <laughs> 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 they started talking to the and I loved it. They, I was inviting it, obviously. Of course. But, um, no, they're a great crowd. Wait, so man. how do you say God bless you in your Tuhan memberkati? This piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tuhan memberkati. Oh, whoa! Tuhan memberkati. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, yeah, yeah. Let's You're ready, go. man. You're ready. You're ready for the trip. Yo, we are at Tuhan memberkati. Nah, nah. <laughs> close, no, close. Damn, you took the Tuhan, Tuhan memberkati. Tuhan memberkati. Yeah, Tuhan God memberkati. bless you. Yeah, Tuhan memberkati. Yeah, that's it. That's there it. There we go. There you go. God bless God you. God bless you. Tuhan memberkati. How you yeah. say motherfucker? <laughs> I had a girl get really upset with me. Why? Because I said, "I appreciate you, motherfucker." It's from Tom Segura's uh, bit, right. and I just love saying, "I appreciate you, motherfucker." Right. And so I said that to her. She goes, how can you talk to a teacher that way? I'm like, bitch, that's how I talk to my teachers. But I was a kid. I'm an adult now. Who's the teacher? Uh, the, that's her profession. She goes, hey. Wait, a, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Go ahead. What grade does she teach? I have no idea. I'm, I'm supposed to respect you outside <laughs> of a class? That's what I was in this room. <laughs> You're a fucking teacher, man. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm a comedian. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, you don't carry your profession outside of it. I man. thought that was really weird. And then I was like, questioning myself, like, maybe... You're supposed to respect. Because let me tell you something. You should call her Mrs. Whatever her last name is. Oh, that's from, funny. Oh, I should. From yeah. Here on out. If she like, wants you to treat her, yeah, like a teacher, like a teacher, call her Mrs. Probably, yeah. Oh my gosh, she fucks kids. Because <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to respect her the way. Oh. She has a little right. Oh, oh yeah, that's shit. inappropriate. Yeah. That's kind of inappropriate, bro. Yeah. You know what? Appropriate, Mrs. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna, I want to launch an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to call the school up. I'm calling the DOE. Yeah. <laughs> DOE, baby. I don't know. That was that was weird, right? I'm it's a, very I'm strange, weird. man. All right, wait, all right, um, we got to close out soon. And we have one article left, I think. There's, we have two, but we're going to go with this one. Um, well, I like the McDonald's one. <laughs> the McDon oh, okay. That's what we're going to close with but before we go. It's the, I, it's, on, it's the last. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it after. Iranian dating? Is that a good one? Um, no, nah, let's do the McDonald's. Let's go to Mickey D. Yeah. So uh, this is the last outpost. <laughs> let's go. But before we go, to, uh, pull it up. But when's the last time you ate McDonald's? What was that? When's the last time that you that, that you ate, ate McDonald's? McDonald's? Oh, wow. I don't remember. I don't eat. Uh, I started doing vegan or maybe mostly plant based. plant based three years. Right. I never eat burgers and chicken wings and anymore. But mm. I ate steak though at at at, at, at times. Murderer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't I don't remember. I ate French fries. I think it was uh probably like 
couple of months ago. Yeah. Oh, so you eat some fries. They put milk yeah. in their French fries. I can't eat. Do they? Them. Yeah. Oh, in why? America, in America, why? Because they, you know, got to do something with those cows. <laughs> those cows that they're raping all day. Yeah, can I tell you something? I think I'm. Ba- I think we're all been eating fake beef for a long ass time. Hmm. No, and, you're eating and, real tortured beef. I trust don't think me. So. It's a lot cheap. It's a lot cheaper for them to produce cows the way they have it with government subsidies yeah. than it is for them I to just, create. I just, you know what it is? I looked up how many cows there were. Yeah. And not that many. I had, you know, when I was a stockbroker. Not broker, that many. 1.8 billion. You know, when I was a stockbroker, I had a client with 25,000 cows. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot him, of cows. It was a lot of cows. <laughs> Russian McDonald's fan changed himself. To eatery and attempt to prevent clothes. Oh. <laughs> this is the last American outpost in Russia. Wait, wait, can you can you full full screen? Jeez. So he's chained himself to the McDonald's, and he refuses to leave. <laughs> so you know all these American businesses in Russia have closed up shop, mm. and they've all left the country. Mm-hmm. Temporarily, some of them have said, McDonald's has said that they're going to continue to pay their employees, 25,000 employees. Um, but they've all left. But now uh, Putin and the, the Russian government issued a statement that they're going to start seizing the assets that have been left behind by mm. these companies. Mm. So it's going to change from McDonald's to like make Gorbachev's. <laughs> <laughs> that reference? <laughs> kids nowadays don't know that name. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the, the kids. Yeah. That was uh, the, G- the, was yeah, was the, the last president. The last of- president of the United... Actually, it was the last president, but the... He was the Soviet last president of the, U- of the Soviet Union. Did you uh, know that there, there there's like Russian times. tanks going through? They have video with the USSR flag on them. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, they got the red flag on them, bro. Oh. This is a war! <laughs> Dude, was that a McDonald's worker? Like, no, that was that was a, a client. That was a, a VIP client, just a big fan. I was I was telling them hey, literally big. Hey. I was telling yeah. them before the show started that uh, in the there's a black market now for uh, oh American stuff for American stuff. And uh, Ber- um, uh, Big Macs are going for forty five dollars. Oh, that's crazy! Forty five. Well, let me bucks. tell you something. When when things, I remember you can hold on to them and they'll just go up in value. Stale <laughs> 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 burger. But have you seen that? Have you seen that they took? Ever seen it? They took a, a McDonald's uh, like meal of like yeah. a burger and fries and stuff, and they left it. It's in a museum somewhere. How many years is it now? Oh, uh, great. What, which museum? Somebody has an exhibit. It's like thirty years. This oh, thing, crazy. and it hasn't it hasn't de- decomposed. How come? Because it's full of like fake chemicals oh! and shit. It looks exactly oh. the same. Once in yeah, twenty Mc- years. Once twenty years. McDonald's. That's oil. crazy. Yo. You have a picture of it. It should be molded by now. There's no mold. There's nothing. It looks the same, crazy. dude. Look, man. Boom. Look oh, here. that looks pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, dude. That Bro, that looks oh, like that doesn't look terrible. That looks like every burger I've ever gotten yeah, from looks, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah the bun, very least, bro. it's the yesterday's. Bun is terrible. <laughs> that's a microwave <laughs> yesterday's burger. Just take the bun off, Pangie. Yo, uh, uh, oh my god, that's disgusting. Yo, how much to eat that? And McDonald's never died, issued a uh, statement because of a burger that didn't go. You know, oh, they're decomposing just, sure. years. showing how good quality their food is. Oh man, it's so pure. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I had something I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that, that was the last outpost of American freedom in Russia. It was Mickey D? He's hold, yeah, well, that I person thought, chained to it. I thought it would be Starbucks or something. I, I don't even Do they have Starbucks? I think they You do. know, during the Cold War, they had... Well, they're, if they do, then they're gone, because that's an American company, Starbucks, yes, right? Seattle. Yeah. So all American companies pulled out. Mm. When, you know, Panji and I were kids, the Iron Curtain was still <laughs> up. Do you know what that is? Kind of. Why are you lying? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you have to say when me and Pudgy were kids? Because like, Ke- cause Kevin was born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. No. No. <laughs> no, but the Iron Curtain was like, you know, when the U.S. and Russia were in the Cold War, there was nothing coming in and out. I remember when I was a kid, they were like, oh, because they would let very How much was s- gas then? Gasoline? Yeah. In America? Yeah. It was a dollar and a quarter probably. I'm saying, did it affect the gas prices? Back then, no, 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 I don't think no, so. No, it didn't affect it. No, we, uh, we were more affected by like uh, the terrors in the seventies and stuff. Mm. But no, but what was it? What? Yeah, the Cold War. Oh yeah. yeah. So, but no, like 
to get essentials into that country, people were paying like fifty yeah. dollars for toilet paper. It's back, back to that yeah. those times again now. Well, that's what that's the it's a financial war, mm. you know. Like that's yeah. that's the way they're fighting Russia now, the United States. Man, that they'll send Kevin. I've, I've heard some arguments for for Russia. Okay, <laughs> which I don't know made sense to me. Okay, like where the UN kind of overstepped their bounds, right? And you know, he told them for years, "Hey, don't." It's not the UN because the UN is a body of all the governments, and they have nothing to do with it. You're talking about NATO. NATO, NATO sorry. Um, yeah, you told NATO, "Hey, don't, 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 don't put weapons in, over yeah, here and don't stuff. Don't put weapons over there. Don't put weapons over here." And they did, and right. I don't know. They backed him in the wall. There's no way he could win this. And I think a couple of weeks ago, you said that like this is going to end terribly. Yeah, I think it's going to go it, terrible. It is. It is. You you see it now. Oh, I see it. Because there's no good way to end this. There's thing. no way to end this. Right, because he looks like a bitch, and he's not a guy that wants yeah, to no, look like a bitch. No, no, <laughs> right? He doesn't want to look weak, and he's not going to let himself lose face. He, he won't. Let he's him. already destroyed his economy. Yeah, but I don't know. It's kind of a, a bitch move to get on a horse with no shirt on. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking shit. That's because we both won't, would not want to oh. get on a horse with no shirt on, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's quite I, proud I'm of himself. Projected. <laughs> I'm just projecting. I'm just projecting out here, you know? I hate Fuck that he you. has a better party than me. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, let's go to the Iranian dating, and then we're out of here. I don't want to end on a Mickey D's thing. That guy was sad. Who? That guy who that chained guy, himself? Dude, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, You know what it is? I feel like me and Josh, some guys in Russia who are like me and Josh, put him up to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, dude, you want another burger? Go train yourself up real quick. <laughs> For <the> McDonald's. <laughs> and he did so it. So this woman... So this guy was a, a general for the uh, for Hezbollah, for the Iranian uh, sub-military. i seen this guy in Iron Man movies. Well, you know, the, <laughs> Donald Trump took him out. Oh. oh, that's where I know him from. So this woman, Lord, <laughs> Lord of Not Man... Not the Iron Man part in Iron Man, Donald J. Trump. This guy actually looks like an amazing guy. He Jones. would be an amazing actor. Doesn't he just have this Yeah, guy he's like a character guy. out of from a movie right, or something. Right? Hey, this guy's kind of dope. Well, he's kind of gone. He's gone. Yeah. Well, he's dead. <laughs> and that, so so this lady? So she lured a man <laughs> on a date, had sex with him, tied him up, put uh, something over his eyes, and then stabbed the guy in his neck as revenge for Soleimani. Why? What? Because she said she was doing it for to to avenge the death of this general, and that person has anything to do with this? It, guy's they death. didn't say, but I I don't see any any uh, connection. It was just some <laughs> random dick who met a girl on a oh, dating that, app. That girl is just messed up, I think. Yeah, she just wanted to stab. Was it a dude. an American? Well, yeah, because it was in Las Vegas. I mean, it could have been a foreigner too. Or it could be because of just something petty, and then she want to cover it yeah. up, and then she's, oh, it's because I uh, had something it? to do with the war. <laughs> Wait, this <laughs> happened in America, in Vegas? Yeah. In Vegas. Why'd crazy. you call it Iranian dating? She's from Iran. <laughs> she's, she's an Iranian. You thought it was like an alien. Iranian yeah, the, dating the general, app. I thought it was going to be about that, but that's the cool. The general <laughs> is from Iran. It's a, no, no, I know that. I know. I, know. Right. I get the gist, but it <laughs> happened in America. Right. On an American, she's an Iranian dating on an American Let me tell you something. dating app. <laughs> Just, <laughs> she's also you know here illegally. Is she it's here a, illegally? That's what it says, yeah. Oh. That's a silly thing to do when you're here illegally. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. What were they going to do? Send her back to Iran? <laughs> where she's going to be like courted? <laughs> and like praised? They can't even deport her. And now she's going to get three meals a day? <laughs> and our jail? Fuck that. You don't want to go to jail in America, man. Not not being a... Uh, let me tell you something. Mm. Take something right out. These jail dudes, they love this country <laughs> after a couple of years. You know what I mean? Really? Yo, dude, it is People crazy. in jail are patriotic? Patriotic. Really? Patriotic. Oh, man. Yo, bro. It's so our so... criminal justice system does work. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, they're oddly patriotic. <laughs> they were re- actually rehab- rehabilitated. Well, they go for the home team. Rehabilitated. Rehab- yeah. yeah. So, I'm but, like, I'm... Wow. So they're like. So what do they program them there when they put you in jail? I don't know, bro. Like they become do they do they play the pledge of allegiance there in the morning? Depending on the state, that is kind of weird, though. Play. It is weird. Yeah, it's like you're trying to militarize your yeah yeah. yeah. Well, just in time for World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be this. Ooh, what man? There's a couple of dudes at Rikers who would love to just. 
That's what happened in Ukraine, right? The president actually lets out the uh, their inmates to go to war. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, when, yeah, well, when there's a war like that, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I heard on another part- Pablo, you rape. <laughs> he's, like, he's raping a Russian guy. <laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> Fucking raper. It's like a, the Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn, son. Yo, this has been a great episode. Pinch, you got anything before we go that you wanna? talk about no nah, no I'm nothing good. you want to plug yeah. no nah, nah, i just want to say that um my in the indonesian people they love you they oh, really no, really no, do. No. we yeah. love them too bro like, yeah this we do is cool really as do. fuck dude yeah, to yeah. have an actual audience listening to us always so gracious and nice. i met your your friend michael and his uh wife was michael the, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very yeah. nice dude shout out what's up mike um just really nice gracious kind yeah people kind man. people man I, you know i i want to ruin it I want to say some crazy shit. Don't. <laughs> don't. I so want to say man. some crazy shit right now. Don't, just, Kevin. So, I just want to. Just remember, you, you still. Hypothetically what I want to do. Uh, let me just remind you that you <laughs> you still are vying to be adopted by Indonesia. <laughs> they haven't decided to take you home I'm yet, I'm the third Kevin. biggest comic in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> so I am. Size-wise. Well, I'm like the first biggest comic. <laughs> <laughs> Size-wise. I'm. I'm obese. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're very, I mean, um, they like they like you guys. They really do. They have good taste. Yeah, they have good, yeah, great taste. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of these other losers. <laughs> <laughs> well, podcast? Don't oh, you to. asked me about um, what were they saying yes. on the comments previously? What were they asking? Yeah, um, most of them, <laughs> this is just stupid. Most of them want you to ask me about how I offend cat lovers in Indonesia. Why, wow, oh, you yeah. offend cat lovers? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, did, I didn't mean to. You know how we are, right? Yeah. We just say things. Wow. And I didn't know um, that. It's, it's, stupid because <laughs> it's stupid because previously, uh, and my audience would, would say this, I am known as a comedian, as a comic who talks about social issues. So I, I, I offend political figures, you know, uh, yeah, um, people that's in high places. way so more did, dangerous to do where you're at than I know, here. I know, right? So that's what they know oh, me from. Oh, that's why you moved over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they know me from. Are and we then, in danger? <laughs> 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 oh, you're good. And then I had this just one joke. It's just a silly joke. It's just a stupid joke uh, about cats and... Uh, can, you, can you translate it? Well, it's just that... Um, and um, it's the end of... So I have a chunk about animals and how... Um, you know, trash in seas, plastic waste in seas are a danger for, you know, uh, you know, sea creatures. And I was talking about that. And then I, I said something like, but, you know, I don't love all animals. I sometimes hate stray cats. Mm -hmm. And I call them uh, bum cats. Yeah. Uh, where they ask uh, food from you, like, you know, like beggars, like, right. you know, mm -hmm. like homeless people. They do? They come up to, to, to people and ask? Oh, they do ask? Cats. Bro. You cats. can get Kevin yeah. to go over there and kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I got a job in Indonesia. You get rid of homeless cats in Indonesia. <laughs> Sounds like I got some money to make, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I was just talking about that, uh, how, how I don't give food to these cats who are uh, begging for for uh, for meals from me, from me because... After I give them, just there would be just like a hundred of them. Yeah, and then I was talking about that, and obviously, so there are you know a lot of cat lovers, and they right. I become trending topics on Twitter, and then so that's the one you got the most in trouble for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got so most in because of that. It's are there in a lot, apparently. A lot. I have a cat. He's eighteen years old. Oh, that's very old for cat age. He's very old. Yeah. He's like the Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I check him every day. I'm like, "Are you still alive?" And he's, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's "Still alive." Man. I love him. Yeah, but I really hate cat. I don't. No, really I, I don't cat. think you. Don't I never used to like cats until I met uh, his cat. Oh. Yeah, his cat is awesome. Well, the, the grandpa one. Yeah, yeah. But like it was two years ago when he was way more awesome. <laughs> now he he is a zombie. But yeah, he's like <laughs> a zombie you now. I don't know. Bro. I don't want to put him to sleep. You'll be sad though. You know when he's. Pange, he's Seriously? he's like 18, 19 years old. He looks like The Walking Dead. Mm. You know, I was taking him to the vet and getting like all types of like um, steroid shots and mm. stuff. Mm. And it helps for like a day or two, but it just, he goes right back right away. And the vet was like, hey man, he's like, you should just kill this cat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, all right, let me just think about it a couple of days. And then I met my girlfriend and she came over and my cat came back to life all of a sudden. But now for like, Six months, he's just like on deathbed, and he refuses to die. He just doesn't want. Since I got the dog, oh, 
He's like, I refuse to like give up my spot in the house <laughs> to this fucking dog, man. Your cat has a name? Samson. Samson. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Shout out Samson. Son. What up, Samson? See, Panji loves cats. See what I mean? <laughs> Look at that. Rehabilitating his fucking image right now for the great people of Indonesia. You think you got problems? <laughs> well, I, we have serial killers killing homies. <laughs> Are you worried about fucking cats? <laughs> huh? Is that what you're going to do? Uh, huh? You're worried about some cats? <laughs> they can fend for themselves. Do you think they're offended by Ponji's fucking joke? Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, yeah cats don't care. Cats, cats don't, don't give care. They don't, they don't well, care they don't about you. They don't care about you. <laughs> yeah. They don't. They'll eat you. When you die, they will, you, eat you. they will eat you from the eyeballs in. Yeah. yeah. All right? You understand it? Sometimes yeah. I think my cat's going to outlive me. <laughs> no, the, the nuke, the nuke is going to go off in New York City and everyone will be dead and my cat's just going to crawl. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Some pet cemetery shit. <laughs> Guys. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, we wrap this up. has been an amazing episode. Thank you so much, Panji, for coming. My pleasure, my You're guy. You're great. Too. You're hilarious. <laughs> Kevin, you're doing amazing, buddy. I've been killing it for you. You fucking. You, you too, buddy. You're fucking. You, you, you're a you're champion. You're a rock star, buddy. You're a rock you're star. You're a fucking bro. rock star. You're a rock star. You understand? You're a fucking you came rock with the links. Star. These guys are cute together. Right? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, hey, guys, tell me we're not better sitting on the couch. Yeah. I feel we're more comfortable. We're just better on the couch. Yeah, for sure. Are you just you relaxed, feel comfortable chill? in that seat? You feel comfortable? I'm good. You I'm feel good. Comfortable All right, good. You get comfortable there because you're not getting your passport it's back. T- <laughs> 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 this is the Mac Almanac, soon to be changed to a different name. Uh, please like, subscribe, send to a friend, show some love. Share. Thank you. If you're feeling like a pimp.